The Czech Republic is a parliamentary republic, and its political system has evolved significantly since its establishment. Here is an overview of the history of the Czech Parliamentary Republic. 1. Formation of Czechoslovakia, 1918. The history of the Czech Republic as a parliamentary republic begins with the formation of Czechoslovakia in 1918 after the collapse of the Austro-Hungarian Empire at the end of World War I. Czechoslovakia adopted a democratic parliamentary system with a president as the head of state. 2. First Republic, 1918 until 1938, Czechoslovakia was established as a multi-ethnic state with Czechs and Slovaks forming the majority, the First Republic was characterized by a democratic parliamentary system with regular elections. 3. Munich Agreement and German Occupation, 1938 until 1945, in 1938, the Munich Agreement led to the dismemberment of Czechoslovakia, with Germany occupying the Sudetenland. The remainder of Czechoslovakia was eventually invaded and occupied by Germany in 1939. 4. Post-World War II and Communist Era, 1945 until 1989, after World War II, Czechoslovakia was re-established, and a communist government, aligned with the Soviet Union, took power in 1948. The country experienced decades of communist rule until the Velvet Revolution in 1989. 5. Velvet Revolution 1989, the Velvet Revolution marked the peaceful overthrow of the communist regime in Czechoslovakia, civic leader Václav Havel emerged as a key figure, and the country transitioned to democracy. 6. Dissolution of Czechoslovakia, 1993, in 1993, Czechoslovakia peacefully split into two independent countries, the Czech Republic and Slovakia, the Czech Republic adopted its own constitution, officially becoming a separate entity. 7. Post-separation era, 1993 until present, the Czech Republic has operated as a parliamentary republic since its independence, the parliament consists of two chambers, the Chamber of Deputies, Lower House, and the Senate, Upper House. The President is the head of state, and the Prime Minister is the head of government. 8. EU accession, 2004, in 2004, the Czech Republic joined the European Union. 9. Recent political developments, political dynamics have included various political parties participating in elections, coalition governments, and debates on issues such as European integration, economic reforms, and social policies. The Czech Parliamentary Republic has undergone significant historical changes, from the First Republic through the Communist era to its present-day status as an independent and democratic nation within the European Union. The Czech Republic's accession to the European Union EU, was a significant milestone in its modern history. Here's a detailed overview of the Czech Republic's journey to EU accession. 1. Background Following the Velvet Revolution in 1989 and the peaceful dissolution of Czechoslovakia in 1993, the Czech Republic emerged as an independent state, with a commitment to democracy and economic reforms. The Czech Republic expressed interest in joining European institutions. 2. Association Agreement, 1993, the Czech Republic signed an association agreement with the European Union in 1993. This agreement aimed at fostering political and economic cooperation and promoting the gradual integration of the Czech Republic into the EU. 3. EU accession process, 1996 until 2004, the formal process of the Czech Republic's accession to the EU began in 1996 when it submitted its application for membership, the European Commission assessed the country's readiness, and negotiations officially started in 1998. 4. Negotiation Chapters – Accession negotiations involved various chapters covering different policy areas, such as the economy, agriculture, justice, and home affairs. The Czech Republic worked to align its legislation and policies with EU standards. 5. Progress and Challenges – The accession process faced challenges, including concerns about the environment, the closure of the Temelin nuclear power plant, and addressing the legacy of the communist era. 6. EU Accession Treaty 2003, the Czech Republic, along with nine other countries, signed the EU Accession Treaty in Athens on 16 April 2003, the treaty outlined the terms of accession, and the Czech Republic officially became an EU member state on 1 May 2004. 7. 
Benefits and impacts, EU accession brought numerous benefits, including access to the single market, structural funds, and the opportunity to participate in shaping EU policies, it also required the adoption of the euro in the future. Although the Czech Republic has not adopted the euro. 8. Post-accession era, 2004 onward, as an EU member state, the Czech Republic continued to actively participate in EU institutions, contributing to decision-making processes and engaging in various policy areas. Political debates within the country have included discussions on the benefits and challenges of EU membership.